Hi guys, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty and thanks for stopping by again and for keeping me company on my channel. Today I would like to <laughs> do a quick first impressions showing of my Pat McGrath Bridgerton 2 collections. Before we get into the Bridgerton 2, I would just like to tell you guys I went ahead. I already prepped my face with the Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Fetish Foundation. I have this in shade 19. I also have the powder in shade medium 3. I don't wear this very often because the powder it's a bit um, very red on my complexion. I also am wearing the Pat McGrath concealer in number 19 and I use the Pat McGrath concealer brush. This is not one of my favorites but I do like it for the inner corner. So this is the skin prep I have done today in order that I can play around and show you guys the Bridgerton 2 collection from Pat McGrath. From the collection I got the Bridgerton eyeshadow palette. It's called Belle of the Ball Mothership. It looks like this. Everything is cardboard, it has a mirror, and these are the colors. I did not get the Bridgerton one because I was not so in love with the blue packaging. Honestly, I have never watched Bridgerton, but I saw this in the advertising for this line, and I do like the motif of this packaging, the color it really spoke to me so I said I would go ahead and get it and also this chartreuse color here really drove me nuts because I love chartreuse very much. So this is the eyeshadow palette it has six colors and it has 6.6 .6 grams or 23 ounces of product and then the blush palette it looks like this yeah it looks like a mini victorian hat box it's called blush in delight it has four colors 7.5 grams or 0.26 ounces of products and when you open it it looks like this there's a highlighter and three blushes. This here is Champagne Venus. Then we have here Aphrodisia, then Budding Romance, and then Berry Brilliance. I don't know how I really feel about this one. The colors are lovely, but I am used to the Pat McGrath um, very posh very sturdy packaging it is very pretty but um i think this being that it is cardboard it will get quite dirty when using it i was actually considering whether or not i should just keep this because it is so beautiful for decoration but then hmm, I don't know I will go ahead and use it and try to be as careful as I can and then I got two lipsticks I got the Entranced and Alison 3 this is Entranced and this is Alison 3 the lipsticks are very beautiful with the bow and the pastel color. The only thing I noticed is that I'm going to do a swatch video of my Pat McGrath lipsticks and what I noticed of the bat, the packaging, it's a bit lighter than the normal Pat McGrath uh, lipsticks. I don't know if the Bridgerton one was the same. I don't have that collection, but absolutely gorgeous 
lipsticks. So this is an overview of the products and I will go ahead and just do some swatches of the eyeshadow and then apply it. The first color, it's Refinement. Ah, oh, this swatches quite well. Regency Romance. Ah, oh, this is a very soft. Diamond Desire. Forbidden Amour. Oh, this is lovely. These are so soft and creamy. Daring Dandy. Oh, this is so pretty. And this is Forever Charmed. The reason why I did buy this palette because I love Chartreuse so very much. All the colors swiped quite easily. They are very soft and beautiful. I did see some um, YouTubers who have made videos even prior to this palette being released and they did say that there are a lot of repeat colors. I mean I have the Decadence palette, Divine Rose, and the subliminal palette. I was only able to find one color which looked like it could be similar. It is gold standard. This one here in the decadence palette and it looks like it is a bit similar to the chartreuse. So I will go ahead and swatch those two. This is the Forever Charmed from the Bridgerton 2 and this is gold standard. This is more chartreuse and this is just more of a gold yellow color. I took some of Forbidden Amour. It does have a bit of kick up. is my very quick eye look. I added on the eyelid Forever Charmed and the combination of Daring Dandy and Forbidden Amour in the inner corner and then Diamond Desire with a little bit of Forever Charmed on the bottom uh, lash area. Just quick and dirty. I am not a makeup artist. I do my makeup the way I do it every day. But I like these colors very much. It applied quite easily. They blended quickly. So nothing bad to say here. This is my completed look with the Bell of the Ball Bridgerton 2 palette. My completed eye look. I just went ahead and added some mascara and I tight line my eyes with the Pat McGrath Perma Gel Eyeliner in Black Coffee. I will go ahead and use this, the colors in this blush palette are really beautiful and I think they would be awesome for the summer and the spring. So this is Charming Venus, this is the blush in Aphrodisia. Yep, Aphrodisia. Actually this one is Aphrodisia. This one here is the budding romance. So this is Budding Romance and this is Aphrodisia. And this is Berry 
brilliance. These are all very beautiful blush colors and I think they will all work very well and show up on dark skin tones. Actually, the color that intrigues me the most is Aphrodisia. I don't think I have something like this in my collection, so I will go ahead and apply this one. The blushes, as you can see, they are nicely pigmented and the aphrodisia, it's like an apricot berry mix. It is very nice and very flattering. I dropped a bit of mascara on my blouse, so if you can see a black dot, it's the mascara. I thought it was better to leave it than to go ahead and try to get it out, so I don't think it bothers anyone. I will go ahead and just apply a little bit of the highlighter. The highlighter it is a little bit chunky. It has a lot of fallout. It's okay, but it is not my favorite of the collection. I tend to have a bit of issues with highlighters anyway. I like them to be more on the very smooth, creamy side, but I think on young, plump skin, this will look very nice, but for my mature skin, I don't like having these little chunky flakes on the face. Also, I just wanted to say after having used the blush, there was quite a bit of the coloring on the packaging. Being that I'm using this, this is nothing I think I would be able to keep. If you are a collector, then I would think you would just need to put this away. As soon as you start using it, it does get a bit dirty. So, on to the lipsticks. Let me see. I will do Entranced first, as Alison 5 is quite entranced this lipstick goes on like a dream i do love pat mcgrath's lipstick formula in general and i do have a lot of them this color is lovely and it is very universal. I think this is a lipstick I will get a lot of use out of. It has a nice glossy shine. The next one up, it's Ellison 5. I believe I have Ellison 3, so I was very excited to compare with this one. This is Ellison 5, and for everyday wear, I would most likely pair this with a red lip liner. This is beautiful, also creamy, went on quite easy. It's a beautiful, cool tone red. <laughs> These are the two lipsticks. This is it for my Bridgerton 2 review. Honestly, I love the products. The eyeshadows went on very well. They are very creamy. The blush is also very good. I love the lipstick. The packaging could have been a bit better. However, I am not too bothered by it. I will go ahead and use the blush because it is very nice. All in all, for me, it's a positive experience and I will enjoy using these products. I don't have 
so many Pats McGrath um, mothership palettes where I see so many repeating shades. I only have three of them. So this is a good addition to my collection. And I love the color Chartreuse so much that I think I will reach a lot for this palette. Ciao guys, thanks for watching. I am doing also today a Pat McGrath lipstick video where I am going to swatch all my Pat McGrath lipsticks. So please stay tuned for this one. Take care, bye bye.